Uh, by fireworks for the 4th of July in Texas. Local stands started making sales today. But as KXAN's Lauren Kravitz reports, emergency responders are worried a new law could mean more illegal fireworks. Colleen Yantis is stocking up. Her family operates a stand for American Fireworks in Round Rock. And this year, they're in a new spot. The clients that we've had so far this morning were like, this is amazing. Firework stands have moved closer to cities. The old law required firework stands to be 5,000 feet, about a mile away from city limits. But now they can be as close as 100 feet away from city limits where I'm standing, like the one across the street. You can see these just a few little pockets that are that are there where you could sell them legally. Assistant Chief Billy Worcesterhausen with the Round Rock Fire Department worries the closer stands will encourage more illegal activity. My concern with the change in the law is that people will see them being sold there and think, well, if they can sell them there, then we should be able to use them here. But you can't. You still have to be 5,000 feet from city limits to set off fireworks. Firefighters are now anticipating even more calls this year. Last 4th of July weekend, they responded to three grass fires and 91 reports of people illegally using fireworks. Uh, we bring on extra staffing both to handle the fire hazard itself, but also to help with the enforcement. And we still can't respond to all of the firework uh, calls in a timely manner. For the but for Colleen, who supports her family with these sales, she welcomes the change. Of course, it's, it's great for us. Uh, we're really excited to see what this year brings. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Firefighters say even if you are 5,000 feet from the city limits, you still cannot shoot off fireworks in places like parking lots or land that is not yours, unless, of course, you get permission from the landowner. Well, two years ago, local crews responded to dozens of fires on the 4th of July weekend, and in some cases, fireworks were to blame. One Austin family was left with a scar on their home after sparklers were not properly thrown away in the trash. Everyone inside the house made it out safely, but their gate was destroyed. And just a few blocks away from that, another house caught fire after fireworks flew over a fence and landed on a deck. That same holiday weekend, Austin firefighters put out six house fires and 15 grass fires. And Travis County fire crews responded to 57 brush fires.